G'day guys, welcome back to uh, VTA. We are here at the Longford Vintage Tractor Pool. Uh, we come here every year, we really enjoy it. Uh, I didn't film us loading or driving down here or anything, I figured you'd seen that before. But yeah, so we're here, we've got the pacemaker here and we've got the 30. We were going to bring the Newman as well, but we had some dramas with the um, wiring for the trailer. It's the first time we towed the trailer with the truck, so it's just giving us some grief. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're all good. Um, I brought the tunner up just to chuck on display. Dad brought the truck up with the tractors on it. Um, yeah, I might have a quick walk around and show you what tractors are here. Uh, the tractor pull isn't until tomorrow, um, and typically we still get a lot more tractors turn up this afternoon, um, but I'll give you a look at what's here already. All right, as I was saying, we've got the pacemaker up there. Um, next is Tim Brennan's Renault, Tim and Jim Brennan's Renault. Uh, Dad's 30K, that's Tim and Jim Brennan's, or Tim Brennan's uh, Newman, which is obviously the same as one of uh, ours, but um, his is all restored and shiny. And you got Bulldog, David Brown, the case, another David Brown, uh, Chamberlain 40k, Deutz, I think that's a three cylinder, yeah, F3M Deutz, a uh, little President tractor, an Iseki of some sort, uh, John Deere R model, or John Deere A, a D, uh, sorry, a styled D, an unstyled D, and an even earlier unstyled D. Um, I don't know the best way to tell the difference, I think. I'm not super knowledgeable, but basically the earlier Ds, as you can see, the steering shaft actually comes up and the, the steering box assembly is essentially part of the front axle. Whereas this is a later one, you can see the steering shaft goes down the other side to a more conventional style steering box with a drag link. So that's a, so that's a late D, a mid D, and an early D from what I understand. Uh, someone brought their lawnmower. Uh, Farm well, that's a, um, Fordson Major uh, E1A with a petrol in it and a 435 John Deere, which we actually saw this same tractor at uh, Lardner Park a few weeks ago. You got Normag, you got a little John Deere BR, another John Deere D, an R model, Chamberlain 40K, a 55D Chamberlain, a Deutz, I think that's a two cylinder, that's an F2M, little Farm Wall Cub. David Brown 950 and a David Brown 880. There's a Super 70 with jewels on it. And this is a 40K or a KA. I can't tell the difference just by looking at it. Uh, another little BR Johnny. A late model John Deere Lance. I think that might be an R model, but someone will know better than me. Uh, W30 McCormick. A W4. David Brown 990 and a 995. A nice looking Farmall M. Uh, I think that's a Farmall A. An 880 David Brown. And a couple of big internationals, two 866s. They're a couple of good looking tractors. One of them's even got jewels on it. And then this is a, I don't know me Bulldogs well enough, but I know enough to know that this is a an earlier tractor with it only saying Bulldog on the top tank of the radiator rather than the big plaque on the front that says Lands Bulldog. Um, with the air cleaner in the middle and the shell guards. Um, yeah, as I said, I don't know a lot about Bulldogs, but I know that one's an earlier one. And then we got another couple of Bulldogs being pushed over there and more stuff rolling in. I'll uh, also go have a look at trucks and cars and see what's here. But as I said, the main day's tomorrow. All right, I've, uh, I've commandeered uh, Tim, Newman, Tim Brennan's Newman. And we're testing out the little sled. This is the garden track. There's an up to the under 10 horsepower class. So this is sort of the biggest track that's ever going to pull it. We're just going to test and see how far it goes. Uh, it doesn't pull pull, we've got a couple more blocks of concrete we can put on. We're certainly making it work. Well, we might still pull pull it. Alright, so I just had to go with the new and it full pulled it. And we're gonna have a go at the present. So this is the biggest uh, biggest class that we'll run on this little sled, um, which is the under 10 horsepower, which is the Newman, the President, far more carb, that kind of thing. Um, so we're gonna give the President a run and see how it goes, see how they compare.
the pacemaker up and give it a run. Turn the fuel on. Let's give it some choke. Maybe not full choke. Hopefully it doesn't need full choke. Maybe it does need full choke.
Okay, so that concludes all our uh, test pulling for the day and playing around. We're going to uh, stop and tidy a few things up and then probably have a couple of beers and head over for dinner. It's been a bloody good day so far. Looking forward to uh, getting into it tomorrow. So I've just had me go on the pacemaker. I've got a full pool in our class. Um, there's about, uh, must be about eight tractors in our class. And um, I think three of us have got full pools. Brad's the last one having a go first time round. Looks like he might actually get a full pool as well. And then, yeah, we'll have our next time round. I'll put a bit more weight on it and see what happens. Here we have young Jack Taylor on his little case. He's one of our younger members with the new rules that have been brought in by the NHMA. Uh, once they are properly uh, tested for their ability to dog tractor, you are allowed to dog tractor from 11 years old. So it's one of our younger members having a great day. And this tractor performs really well. It'll be interesting to see how he goes. He got a full pull first time round. Now he is... Uh, We've adjusted the sled and we're going to see if it stops him this time. Um, yeah, he's doing a really good job.
Inside here, we've got uh, Tom Stoich with his Farmall AM. Really nice original tractor, really nice restored tractor. This one, he's done a really nice job of it. See how well it pulls. It should pull pretty well, I'd imagine. A, uh, a massive 30k. They're basically the same as our tractor that we were pulling with earlier. But uh, it's a road crop. So I'm really interested to see how much difference between a road crop makes. Uh, the bigger day of the wheels, it might help. We did about 55 metres. Uh, the bigger day of the wheels might also kill the engine because of the gear ratio it has. So I'm interested to see what happens right here. It sounds like it's going to run out of power. 54, it's literally one meter short.
Thank mm-hmm. you.